So now let's um, get really speculative and say um, there are still perhaps the most fundamental questions of all, like why is there anything rather than nothing? Why did the Big Bang happen? Mm. Who pressed the big red button mark? Do not press. Um, if you look 100 years down the track, which of course is impossible, but let's do it anyway, uh, how would you see experimental particle physics being able to address even more fundamental questions on that sort of time scale? It's, it's an interesting question, actually, and we're facing it now because accelerators require decades to plan and build. And the question is, do we need another one at the moment? It's, it's a fundamental question in particle physics because you don't just build them speculatively. You need to know how big you need to build it, what energy you need to build it at. Otherwise, you know, you, you, you won't get the money, basically, and, and neither should you, I think, actually, mm -hmm. if you have no idea what you're doing. So the thing is, what we've got to do is we've got to make precision measurements of the Higgs particle to try and understand how that works. Now, the LHC can do that to an extent. There's a, there's a better way of doing that, which ultimately, which is to build what's called a linear collider, which collides electrons and anti-electrons together, um, where you can build a Higgs factory, a very clean environment to look at the Higgs. So that might be the route. It might be precision measurements of the Higgs. Or if you get the hint that supersymmetry is there, or indeed detect one of those particles, then you have a whole new particle zoo to, to explore, and then you may you, desi you design the machine depending on the questions you have to ask. And the reason the LHC was built, by the way, is because at that energy, the, the Higgs particle either had to exist or the standard model was broken. So it was a guaranteed energy. You know that that energy, so-called called unitarity, essentially what happens to the standard model if you take the Higgs out at LHC energies is you get predictions for things which are gr with a probability greater than 100%. Mm -hmm. So the model breaks, so you've got to put something else in there. So that's why we built the LHC. So, so I, particle physics is an interesting point, actually. We need, we need to know, is accelerator physics, is building an accelerator the next thing you would do? Is there a goal in mind? Um, you can't just go fishing by building a, you know, there are plans to build a 100 kilometer in, in diameter machine at CERN, but you wouldn't do that just because you thought we'll have a little pop at it and see what happens. What sense of you know, you, happens can, fishing, you, yeah. you need to know. Um, so, but that will come from precision measurements. There are a lot of, huge numbers of questions. It's certainly not a complete theory. I, th I don't think any particle physicist thinks the standard model is complete, although it technically just about can be up to very high energies, but you end up with all sorts of Contrived, contrived knobs you've got to twiddle to do that so, so it doesn't feel that it should be complete up to the Planck scale let's say. So let's be a pessimist and say LHC goes and we don't find anything that's like supersymmetry, we get no clues I mean building a giant linear collider is very expensive mm. that might give us some insights, it might not a hundred years from now is, is this field just going to die unless we start discovering something? Well, it's, it's, it's a very good question because I'm, I'm not, I don't think scientists should be tribal. You know, we're all physicists and we're all trying to answer these questions. And, and I think it's true that if we don't see any more particles, um, then the only thing you can do is make precision measurements, uh, 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 particularly of the Higgs. You need a Higgs factory. One of the things we really want to do is measure the, the, the Higgs. It's called the self-interaction. So we want to collide Higgs particles together. That's very important. And, it, and it's difficult to do that. And you can do it at LHC with lots of statistics, but it, it's difficult. So you, you'd want, you want a clean environment to measure that. That, that allows you to, to map out this potential, the Higgs potential, the, the, the Mexican hat potential, the wine mm -hmm. bottle, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You can map that out if you can watch Higgs particles colliding. So, so you want to build it. What you want is a Higgs-Higgs collider in a very clean environment. You can do that. Um, so that might be the way to the way to proceed. Um, also the neutrino sector I think is extremely interesting so, so you'd want to probe that. That's not understood I think. Yeah. So there's a lot of experimental particle physics to do but it might be different ways of doing it. It might be, it's about, it might be about precision which is what we did throughout the, throughout the 80s really in 90s with the LEP collider at CERN. It was about precision physics to, to make precision measurements and often discoveries come from precision as well. So that might be the, the future. Or of course, you, we might uh, uncover this whole zoo of particles. But that's why the LHC, the next 10 years at LHC are going to be extremely significant, I think. Even if we discover nothing, then it's, then it's surprising. Then, then you really start wondering. It, it's, the, the standard model has no business being as successful as it is. That's the thing. There's no reason why it should be so good. Um, it doesn't, no one thought, I think, Frank Wilshire would have said, when, when they built the thing, that it would be, it'd stand up to 
20 or 30 years of precision measurement. It's, it's a triumph in that respect. Well, I have to admit myself, not really looking forward to being surprised by nothing, so let's hope for being surprised by lots of things. But uh, on behalf of Paul and me and our Massively Online Open Course here, uh, Cosmology, thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure.